Okay guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we are going through the new community crunch 357 for Ark Survival Evolved and obviously Ark uh, Survival Ascended. It's going to take some time to get used to saying that, but uh, we're going to be talking um, about everything that's new. Um, we've got the new dossier for the Sky Gigger, um, which I'm really looking forward to reading through with you guys. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit about the first new creature that will be coming to Ark Survival Ascended very very soon obviously in august it's an exciting time now i have been away for a couple of days that's why you haven't seen as many videos yesterday was my birthday um it's been a really nice birthday this year actually and i want to say thank you to everyone's uh, everyone for the messages um it's always strange having a birthday on a sunday you know it never feels like you know I, i've taken some extra time off so like today's been really nice and everything the weather's been great, um, but it just feels to be back in, in a routine. And another thing is I've got myself a new monitor uh, for the first time in a long time. And reading this off the new monitor for the first time in a long time is always really strange, but I'm excited to use it um, and, uh, and get a bunch of content out to you guys this week. Now, as always, if you guys do enjoy today's video, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, let's get into this because uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to making a lot of videos this week. So welcome to another edition of the Community Crunch. Spring is, in, uh, is still in full swing and the bugs are back in town, literally. We are thrilled to reveal the right... How do you even pronounce it? Do you know what? I I've, I've really have been trying recently. Rai Neo Ganatha? No, no. I mean, that's why I call it the Sky Giga to make it easier. But I've, for some reason, this has been one I've struggled with probably one of the most in the entire time. Uh, but anyway, dossier to the community. Um, per use it, plot and plan, as we are eager to see what you will do with this uh, do with this brand new monstrous bug. Speaking of new creatures, don't forget to submit your ideas for the community creature vote before submissions end on April twenty first. Now, as I said to you guys, you will see a bunch of videos on these creature submissions. I'm going to try and cover as many of them as I possibly can. Don't worry, I'm seeing all of your comments come through saying which ones you want me to cover. Um, and that's a lot of the content that you'll be seeing over the week. Lots of gameplay as well. Lots of stuff happening. It's a crazy year. Even though, you know, after the roadmap and everything and some of the changes, it still is a pretty mental year. Everything that's changing and everything that's coming. Now, this... The Sky Giga will be the final ever creature that will come to Arc 1. Um, um, so obviously Arc um, Ascended or um, ASA or ASA, whatever you want to call it, is kind of like Arc 1.5, everyone's calling it, before Arc 2 comes out. So this will be the final creature. This is a little look at the new dossier. I'm still getting used to, like, because this new monitor is a lot larger than my old one. And it's like, when, when I'm reading off of it, I'm like, I feel like I'm looking up. It's really strange. I'm, I don't know how I'm going to place this, but... Um, so yeah, Dossier looks really cool. The creature looks amazing. Um, as you can see, it's like got this wrap, uh, like a wrap to like stuck in its... Is that little baby versions of them, I think? Like attacking the raptor on the... F oh no, is that... So that is that a raptor or a parasaur there? Um, but these things look actually quite scary. I, <laughs> I'm actually so glad it's made it to the game. As you guys know, I've wanted this creature to come to art for a long time. So let's read about it here. Um, so it's uh, omnivore, um, as you guys can see here, it's aggressive um, and in the wild. So I swear, every new creature I come across here makes me more sure they've had um, their genes tampered with. I know I'm right about this. Take this monster bug I'm calling Sky Giga, that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> Big enough to headline a horror flick, but still light uh, enough to fly and skate across water. They've kept it. No way they have. They've kept it. So I don't think they can, um, I don't think that they can go underwater, but skate across water. Still kind of the idea of what they were going to have at the start. Would you believe it also makes a weirdly useful quick hardening resin um, um, with a variety of uses or rising? Um, it can thicken up its shell for a defensive boost, spray hard bullet like gobs, or squirt soft globs that harden on impact to gum up incoming predators. Sounds pretty cool. <laughs> um, domesticated, these overgrown earwigs are just what you need to level up your tribe's aerial defenses. And here's a tip. If you crush up the right alpha pleura, you'll get an you'll get an enzyme that makes the 
Sky Giga Glue as a tech disruptive as the Dinopithecus dung. Wow. Plus, this bug can glue itself to creatures or cargo and carry things around your base. That said, the Sky Giga raising isn't for the squeamish. Their males have a pheromone that invites egg-laying females to use them as hosts. Harvest that pheromone and you can mark any creature for the female to lay her eggs on. The host then incubates a new generation of lava that can re uh, uh, reap its best traits in the process. If some poor beast gets eggs laid on it by accident, you may still be able to save it by popping it in a cryopod and freezing out the lava. Oh, this sounds kind of scary, <laughs> um, but kind of cool at the same time. Um, this is going to be an amazing new creature coming to the game. It's coming in June. I'm surprised they haven't actually put it in here that it's coming to June, but they let us know in the roadmap. Uh, this will be coming out in June. So we've got two months um, until you'll see this in the game. Can't wait to make some gameplay videos on it and all that type of stuff. T test it out. See what it's going to be like in the game. Now, as always, um, the, uh, the community creature submissions are still underway. Don't miss your opportunity to decide on Ark's next creature that will arrive with the launch on day one of Ark Survival Ascended. Please know that this creature will be released for Scorched Earth, so make sure your real-world submissions are in theme with that map. We'll also be adding in an additional real-world creature for each expansion pack released on Ark Survival Ascended. Oh, that's quite cool. I didn't even know that. Um, so the entry period will end on at 1am Pacific on April 21st to get your creature votes and ideas in. And as I said, I'll be covering this all week up until the end of the voting. Now, the new update is the Easter, Easter Evo event. Um, this will be finishing on the 24th of April. During this event, 25% of spawns will be replaced with colors from the event list. It will be active until all official servers across each platform are undergoing this uh, evolutionary change, which includes times three official servers, 4.5 on small tribes, five on apocalypse and six on classic um and then they're also introducing conquest season five which begins on the 25th of april as you can see here um these are the new season details um so experience taming and gathering has been tripled to times three so it's breeding and hatching um uh, to times three no tribe limit tribe alliances are disabled though informal alliances are allowed servers have a maximum player count of 100 excluded maps is aberration gen one and two extinction and fjorda um and then all of these on your screen all these tech engrams slash items will be available on the map which is pretty cool so for Switch, um, it's awesome still to be a Switch partner at the moment. Um, Switch Survivors, the egg, excellent adventure full of, um, event is away. Oh, until today. Oh, it finishes today. Sorry, I didn't actually realize that because, you know, I've been away for my birthday, um, which was Sunday the 16th of April. Um, but it was really, really nice. And Extinction is also now out on Switch for you guys to play if you haven't already. Um, and then the Switch sale ends today. Also, 20% off the Su Ultimate Survivor upgrade, 20% off the Ultimate Survivor edition, and 25% off Dino Discovery. And I think that is pretty much everything you guys need to see from this. You've got the community corner here showing off some amazing content creators as always and some amazing people that create some great fan art on the game we know and love. Um, if you scroll down and then, I mean, that's a really cool tro uh, tropio. I know I always pronounce that wrong, but that's just classic load of crisis really, isn't it? Um, and then as you can see in-game screenshots of the week always looking amazing the view of my house look at that I really can't wait to play some arc on this new monitor as well, but yeah, that is pretty much everything you guys need to see um, We've got so it's April mid-April now. We've got We still got so May June July August we've got four more months of official servers in arc one in four months time It will be the end of arc one and we'll be moving on to arc 1.5 um, Which is weird to say <laughs> and Let's enjoy the new creature well the final proper creature of this and the final you know official server end which is still cre crazy to say and I know a lot of people are still upset about it but it's, it's, this community is amazing and I can't wait to see what's coming up next. So thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video very soon.